What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mine Zealand, it's episode 22 and my name is Sunfire and today we're tackling the big one. We have got this wall here to finish. Now I've been grinding and getting some resources together, we're now smelting the glass and it was suggested that I make this mural a sort of picture of the creature from the Black Lagoon and I thought it was a really good idea so that's what I'm going to do. Now I've been playing around with a couple of different images and it's kind of difficult to, to to sort of build a picture of this monster without losing a significant amount of the quality. So I've tried to get as much in as I can. I'm hoping it will be recognizable, but either way, it'll still be a fun experience. Now we're just at the moment getting together some of the glass that we will need as I was running low. So I've been back to the spawn base and collected a few dyes and we've put together a fairly decent selection of glass. And yeah, once that's smelted up, we can crack on with the project. Okay, we're back and we've made a little bit of progress. I've put in the other two sort of windows that frame this uh, circular mural. I know last time I really struggled getting the dimensions of this correct because I hadn't mapped out the circle properly, I don't think. Um, when I actually went around and started this window. So I've mapped it out here. I've got a little bit of adjustment now to do on the picture itself because it wasn't quite central. It would have left quite a big gap up the top. So moving it up, readjusting the bottom, redesigning it. And yeah, hopefully it uh, comes out looking good. Progress update. The top of the head is done. I'm not doing the outside just yet. I'm going to do that all in one go after I've got the face in. Um, I think, yeah, because with this, I had to manually write down every single color and the order that I wanted to do it because the uh, tentacles made it quite complex. This is symmetrical, so it's going to be a little easier. And I figure if I just focus on the face, get that sitting central in this window, then I can fill in the rest of the outside ring with very little difficulty, as I know what's going to go in there. It's starting to come together. You can kind of see the gills coming in there and the eyes. And it's coming out better than I expected. I, I was a little worried the quality would be lost as I started to put this up. But yeah, it's coming out real nice. And I've got to admit, it is nice to be back in Java. Uh, as much as I do like what I'm doing in Craftaway, and the builds that I have planned are pretty big, so I'm looking forward to those. There are little niggles with the Bedrock Edition that, I don't know, I find frustrating. I've, I've been chatting with one of my subscribers, Yindi. Uh, shout out to you, Yindi. That, and we were chatting about the fact that it feels, Bedrock Edition feels more like it's geared for exploration rather than technical mob farming Minecraft. And that just seems like a silly thing to do if you remove the technical side of Minecraft. It's one of the biggest parts of the game. It's a big part of the community. And to cut that out and focus solely on exploration when there's nothing stopping people from exploring anyway seems a little strange. It, it kind of feels like they've you know, cut the game in half, stuck a new label on it and said, there you go, it's better than it was before. But the people who play Java are sitting there going, well, no, it's not. It's it's half the game it used to be. Um, I'm hoping that Mojang listen to the community on this and put the technical side back in, allow us to make mob farms, allow us to you know, exploit some of the mechanics of the game. There's, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your game by doing that. It actually just means that we found another way to enjoy your game. It, it's, it's a good thing. It is. So yeah, please listen to us. We definitely like to have uh, mob farming back in and a bit more of the mechanics that make Java so spectacular transfer across to Bedrock. You know, there are features in Bedrock that I would like to see in Java too, and I imagine that will happen at some point but there are quite a few other aspects of it which just, I don't know, it feels like you're, it feels like you're selling us short. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully that changes. 
it's looking good. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I mean, if you look at Google Images of the film monster itself, it doesn't look exactly like it, but you get the idea behind it. Um, the, the sort of frills and fins and gills and teeth all come out at you and look pretty good, and that's what I wanted. And it's, just, it's got a fun feel to it. I, I can't help but giggle when I look at this at the moment. Um, so we've just got the water to put around the outside, so I'm going to use some blue stained glass and some cyan stained glass just to create a bit of contrast and kind of make it look like it's swirling through the water. And I think once the sand behind it's gone as well, that should translate into something that looks pretty good. Um, the black glass that I used for the Cthulhu one I mean, that doesn't really show as much because obviously the water, the blue water behind it has kind of given it a different colour. But yeah, I, I think I think we're onto a winner here. I'm happy with how this is turning out. It's better than I expected. And that basically means the base is almost done. I just need to do the uh, little mini murals here. And those are going to be guardians if I can fit them in. If I can't fit them in, um, I might have to come up with a new design. Maybe you could just do pictures of my head, just to let everyone know that this is my base. That might fit. I'm gonna have to map that out. I love it. I really, really like this. I don't know if it's just this derpy mouth, or um, the eyes, or the bubbles, but it just makes me giggle, and I'm glad I put it in the base. This, this is fun. I like this a lot. Right, I'm going to get rid of the sand at the back, and then we're going to go for a bit of a mining session. Uh, we're kind of running out of a lot of resources now. Not iron, we, we've got plenty of iron at the moment. But other things, diamonds, if we can find some. Um, stone in general, we're actually running low on stone, which is not something I was expecting to have to say. So yeah, we'll clear out the sand, and then we're going to do a good old-fashioned mining session in the form of a time-lapse. You know what? It looks better than I could have hoped. Oh, I'm really, really happy with that. Man, it looks way better now that the uh, sand's out of the way. A little bit of a lighting glitch up there. I've noticed that a bit in 1.12.2. Oh well, not too worried about it. Before we do go mining, I just want to check on the iron farms, because I've been busy down here for quite a while, so I would imagine that we've got quite a bit of iron waiting for us there. If I could take off. Am I wearing my elytra? Yes, I am. Let's try again. Oh. <laughs> wow. That was a failure. Third time's a charm. Oop. It doesn't help I've got a cat set on my lap at the moment, which is making it pretty difficult to do anything. Ooh. Two and a bit stacks. Let's try the next one. Oh, guess we're swimming. Another almost two stacks. Let's, uh, hopefully this will fly this time. Hey, just about. Another almost two stacks. I don't trust myself with Elytra. Not one bit. Right. And another almost two stacks. Look how much iron. That's crazy. So we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight stacks of iron. Yeah, I don't think I'll be needing much more for a while. The creeper farm's doing really well as too. Oh. Is the cat jumping around? Please ignore him, for he knows not what he does. Wow. That's that's a decent haul. Right, to the mines. We are in desperate need of coal more than anything else. These furnaces are not going to keep running um, for any more glass smelting, which I will need to do. Probably quite a bit more for these two as well. So we'll head to the mine.
right, well, we're back from our mining session. It was definitely less than an hour. It was only about 20 minutes, but our inventory is full, which is, well, it's great, really, isn't it? We've got all the resources we need. And let's just stick a stack of coal in each of those as soon as we can. One in there and one in there. The rest of it can be put aside for, well, I've got some gifts to give out, haven't I? So I could probably gift some coal for the for the uh, mine zealanders that have not behaved themselves this year. Looking at you, Mystic Fierce Two. Um, and yeah, so I think that's all we really have time for this episode. I think next episode, I'm really hoping we've got time next episode to do the collaboration. It's just a lot of scheduling conflicts. It doesn't really work out at the moment, but hopefully coming up to the holidays now, we'll have a bit more time for it. If not. That's okay. I can wait. There's no rush now. I mean, these windows were the main resource sink, and they're done now, so we can kind of sit back and take it at our leisure now. So if the collaboration doesn't take place, we might have to crack on with these windows. So I'll plan out some uh, pixel art of my face and also of Guardians and see which which is the uh, prettier option. I know what my bet's on. But yeah, for now, that's all the time we have. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Bye.